It has been six years with no answers for a Mifflin County couple searching for their missing son. Shane Workman disappeared in 2017 from Lewistown and has not been seen or heard from since. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz sat down with his parents as they hold out hope for his return. Something happened to him down there. He got in a car or something. Cops ain't doing nothing in this town. First couple years, we searched everywhere. They say it's supposed to get better over time, but it don't. For Mike Hewitt and his partner, Cindy Workman, it's been six years of heartache. Start thinking about it, you know, and you cry, and you don't want to think about it because it hurts too much. Their son Shane vanished from Lewistown the night of April 25th, 2017. The 31 year old was in and out of his parents' West 4th Street home with a woman, something his dad says wasn't out of the ordinary. And they went down the end of the alley, and they, he come back. She said, he said, he freaking out, said somebody was following him. Shane came back, went upstairs, then told his dad he was going up the road to the Sheets gas station. And that was about 10, 11 o'clock at night, and never seen him since. Mike and Cindy left the next morning to go camping, not knowing their son wasn't going to return home. They got back a few days later when a neighbor called and told them Shane was missing and found he left his house key and dog behind. His house key was lying in the center of his bed. Bed wasn't slept in or nothing, you know. So that's when I called the place. But Shane's dad said he never made it to Sheets. They had search dogs track his scent, and instead it led them in the opposite direction, just a few blocks away to the intersection of Woods Lane and Bratton Avenue. Uh, I think something happened to him. In the weeks and months after Shane's disappearance, his family searched everywhere, from neighboring towns to the Juniata River. You know, every penny I had, I'd be putting in for gas, going somewhere looking. We had mediums that was saying, oh, well, he's here, he's there, and stuff like that, you know, but <laughs> it wasn't. Shane certainly wasn't perfect. His parents say he was in and out of jail and rehab and known to deal drugs. But through it all, his teenage daughter was his world. He loves his daughter with all of his heart. Wouldn't leave her. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't leave her. How old was his daughter? Well, she's 21 now. It's OK. For Mike and Cindy, their son's past doesn't change the love they have for him or the tremendous pain they felt these last six years. I have no idea. I just wish someone out there speak up. We need a closing. Lewistown police declined an interview for this story, but say Shane's case remains open and active. The chief tells Fox 43 certain leads point towards foul play, while others don't. But investigators are keeping all possibilities on the table. I just want to know, you know, where my son's at. That's all I want to know. But I have this sinking feeling that I'm never going to find out. Meanwhile, Shane's parents are left to wonder and hope one day they'll see their son again. All I can say is, Shane, if you're out there, we miss you. <laughs> no, I miss them. Not all of them. And I don't want them to come out. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.